You can connect many apps in Google Drive directly so that you can open them up from within Google Drive and edit them on the go. So in order to do that, let's take an example of this CPZ file right here. And if I want to uh, open it up with an integrated app, I can double click on it. And over here in the top, you can see that there's open with is an option. So I can simply go over here on to open with and here all the applications that are integrated are just listed up. So I'm just going to go over here and click on photo editor and then it'll open up that particular file with the photo editor so that I can start editing uh, the file out with that. So here you can see that it does not allow me to directly start editing, but I need to log in and authorize so that it can access my Google Drive files. So I can go over here just like this. It uh, gives me the permissions. I'm going to allow this out. And now let's see what happens right here. So it is downloading the file and you can see that tutor tube is here. So I can apply effects right here and then save it out right here. So I can simply go around and then uh, edit the picture out and save it out right over here. You can save it to computer or you can uh, save it directly in Google Drive if it is if it allows it as well. So let's just go back right here and edit out some other files over here. So I'm just going to go around right over here onto, let's say, the Untitled folder where I have my text document stored in. So I'm just going to double click the, uh, this out right here. So I have an option to edit this out with Google Docs or I can go over here and here it's a suggested by third party apps like text editor. If I were to click on it, then the text editor opens up right over here. And you can see that I can authorize text editor right here. So this is the first time I'm authorizing it. So it is asking me for permission again. And then what happens is that I can open it out and I can start edit editing the text right over there, just like that, as you can see. So similarly, you can work around with different apps just like that. If you want to add in more apps, you can click on connect more apps and then search for a specific app that you want to integrate. And if it is there, so like you can see SketchUp is there, there's like LucidPress, there's Draw.io. A lot of apps are there in the G Suite market, uh, marketplace right here, which you can integrate with uh, Google Drive and start editing. There's something like Graphic Designer right here, like Pictograph and everything, as you can see, just like that. So let me just close this out. And the other way to connect out apps directly in Google Drive is by clicking on new and then by clicking on more and by connecting more apps just like this from over here. And then you get the same Z Suite marketplace and then you can start um, start and install out uh, different uh, things right here. There's even plugins for Google Slides and other docs as you can see right here. So let me just see right here. If I would type in docs right here, you'll be able to see that there's like Rickle docs and everything right here. So for different type of file types, there are different type of plugins that you can install. So to cover each and every one of them is not possible because all of them uh, have different features and deserve a lesson of its own. So that is how you can connect more apps in Google Drive so that you can start uh, working with it directly uh, with different file types from within Google Drive. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.